You want a fair amount of cotton, but not too long, otherwise it will get tangled. Open up the seam where you can see where you folded it over. You just want to take, do a couple of stitches to anchor your cotton before you start. Making sure you can't see it on the front. Take it back and you want to get it on top of the front stitch line. And what you're going to do, you're going to pick up just one stitch from the main garment and then you're going to enter the fold of your trim and take the needle along about an inch. And what you will have created, I'll take the tail away, and then I'll show you the other one. There's a little V, I'll show you the next one along. Find the stitch line underneath, go in and just pick up one tiny stitch and then enter the fold again. Go along about an inch. And you can see better here how you have a little V which is anchoring the trim to the main garment. Going to pick up one stitch. As you go along, you want to pull it quite firmly and flatten it out to make sure there's no puckering. And you go again. About an inch. Oh, I probably should say two through three centimetres. Pick up your one stitch. As you can see, you can't see your stitches on the front side of the garment and if it's the same colour as your on the back you can hardly see it there. So I'll do a few more. along the whole garment like this but what you might you will find is that you will run out of cotton so what you would do is just like you did at the beginning you would open it up anchor your stitch and then rejoin what you'll find, if you pull it too tight, you will end up with puckering. So you want to make sure as you're sewing, that you're smoothing it out all the time to get a nice, clean, even finish. Right, this is a finished seam. As you can see, you can just about see some of the tiny bees, but of course your cotton will be exactly the same colour as the material. And on the front side, there's no stitches visible at all. There you go.